Greetings, people. Ooh, hold on. Hush, babe. Okay, so how y'all doing? Mm -hmm. Today we are on our way to go eat breakfast. Then we gotta go to Bed the Body Works. Then we gotta go to Walmart. No, we gotta go to breakfast. Then we're gonna go to JC Penney's. Then we're gonna go to Bed and Body Works. Then we're gonna go to Pet Smart. Then Walmart, because Walmart is where we gotta make groceries because I'm cooking tonight. She really just wanna spend some time with me because it's our anniversary. No. Our on the real, on the cool, because this was a conversation I was gonna have with him anyway. I really be wanting to spend time with him all the time. But this is a good topic for couples to have. As a wife, I get tired of asking him all the time to come hang with me. Because sometimes it can be like pulling teeth. Sometimes I could go to the grocery store by myself. But if I say, babe, come to the grocery store with me, that's my way of saying spend time with me. I just want you to spend time with me. I just want you to go somewhere with me. If I say, babe, come to Family Dollar with me, I know you probably don't want to go to Family Dollar. But that's my way of spending time with you. So just get up and let's go to Family Dollar. That's all you gotta do, bro. I know, did you? Then he never invites me nowhere. Ever. <laughs> Ever. All right. There are certain places that I go that I know, baby, you kind of boots. You're not gonna. But you don't ever ask. I will sacrifice my boochiness to hang with my husband. Because I'm pretty sure there's other girlfriends there. I'm pretty sure there's other wives there. I need friends. I don't really have nothing but two friends. So, invite me. Now, if I say, oh, baby, I don't feel like going, then I'm not going to go. But at least you've given me an invite to come hang with you. And I know everybody smokes. So, if smoking gets too much for me, I'm going to leave out and stand outside and catch my breath for a little bit. But I'm okay. But it's just a point. Invite me because I we sh we are at that age where we should be able to hang with each other and chill with each other and and, and, and go places together. Now, if you're going to hang with the boys and it's just the boys there, then there's no reason for me to go because there ain't nothing niggas there and I ain't, I, we ain't never played them type of games. Elfo. But if, you know, it's going to be wives or girlfriends there, I'm not that bougie to where I'm not going to talk, speak to them. Now, I used to be like that. I wouldn't speak to nobody. I don't give a damn what we We, I'm not speaking. I'm not going to say hi. I'm not going to do nothing. But. It's going to always end up begging. How much longer we going to be here? <laughs> so, it's like, it's a wasted trip. But if it's. I'm going to go. And within probably an hour, hour, 10 to 15 minutes in, you're going to be ready to go. Because but that's now, not really your cup of tea. That might, okay, so here's the thing. If it's something going on to keep me occupied, I'm not going to say let's go or when we leave it. Because I'm occupied. It's something to do. We hanging. It's conversation flowing. It's things happening. But if y'all just sitting there, y'all, like, just sitting there. Of course, I'm not going to want to just sit there. I'm not a sit there. I feel like this. If I leave my house, I don't want to just sit there. What, be, are, what are you looking to do when you get there? You know, conversations, you know. And if I got some snacks, I'm good, too. Just give me some snacks. Give me some snacks. Can I get some snacks? Oh, Can I get some snacks? And... Okay, I could stay somewhere for an hour. I could stay somewhere for two hours. Now, by the third hour, I am going to be ready to go if it's not nothing happening or going on. Like, I can tolerate one or two hours. But that third hour, I'm going to need to go home. And you can come back, but I'm going to need to go home after that third hour. I ain't got no problem getting dropped off there. But I just feel like at this age, I want to ride around Houston with my dude on a Sunday just chilling. He got what he got, and I got what I got, and we just in the car chilling. Just riding through Houston or going to McGregor Park. I know some grown people stuff. That's not the stuff I want to do. It's, it's, it's football season right now, baby. And I understand you know, that. I can deal with that. You can find me on Sunday. Probably, if me and you ain't doing nothing, I'm at Mr. Tim's house at like 9, 10 in the morning because he's going to break the pit out of me. Don't get started. We're going to sit down. We're going to queue and drink. And I like Miss Kim. I don't know how Miss Kim feel about me, but I like Miss Kim. 
So why we can't put some So why we can't just put some booty in on the grill I bring some booty in and we just sit there and we chill We can do that Because what I do know is my house is right around the corner. So if I get tired of sitting there, I can walk to my house with no problem. Men, for future references, we just want to be in your presence. In the moment you understand and gather that, you will be okay. Like, if we in the same house, I might go upstairs, he might be downstairs. Because he watch weird stuff. No morning. No, I play my game. He play his game and he watch weird stuff. What's weird about the games I watch? Did you I and Lorraine really like, like to watch actual, anime? I, I watch that because my son watched that. That's me and his time. That's what we're doing. I don't really watch anime. Whenever you see that on the TV, that's because he came down there, picked the remote up, and put it on that. And started talking to me about it. So it was funny. We laughed and be hanging out. And then you know, he like watched time, karate you know, movies. I'm not a karate movie girl. I like action. Then he watched uh, some little magical show where it's a magic wizard school thing. Him, huh? You and Lil' Red into that mess. The little magic. wizard magical stuff. The uh, It was a school or something and they was magical. Whatever the fuck. It's just some stuff. I don't so a lot of stuff they watch. I, I'm action. I like action-packed fighting, killing scenes. So how do you not like karate? I hate karate. Come on, this I is... don't like them people doing <laughs> their mouth like that. No, no, I don't no, like no, that. No, 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 this is Dragon Dynasty. This is up-to-date stuff. Like you know, um, Ip Man. He, hey, he is up to date. His mouth moves when it's supposed to move. Well, come on, man. I, I watch all kinds of... If it's action, I'm going to watch it. I might watch an old Western movie. It just depends on how I feel. I might watch some army stuff. So, for it, see, I can do the army stuff because I love army movies. I can do... Like, I'm a den of thieves, face-off, con air type of girl. I'm a, I'm a 300 type of girl, you know? I'm a... Uh, I like uh, gladiator type movies and stuff like that. I want killing oh, and stuff. See, 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 I've watched now, gladiator. Now, now we have a problem. I've watched both three hundreds. Right, right, all right. But say, just just for the people, just a quick right, man. Best movie. Take off. What 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 is face it? off? Face off or gladiator? You gonna say face off? But if you compare like. Grease and all that. I'm going to say 300 was the best movie out of Gladiator. No, no. See, yeah, that, that's a whole different category. 300 wasn't better than Gladiator. Sure. Come on, man. My wife. So, uh, it it, it My was wife. a good movie. No doubt. Hands down. 300 is a... queen. 300 is a... Um, I'm, I'm probably sitting here looking like a little Kiki y'all. Lips probably ash. I didn't bring my um, lips on. Use this baby lips. But, um... It's just a chapstick. Uh, make sure you ain't got me lipstick and all the hair. Yeah, we need no lipstick. Okay. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, 300. It, it's a good movie, but you have to understand. So you wanted me to choose between Face Off and Gladiator? You, you say I'm going to choose Face Off face if off. I have to choose because Face Off was the hardest movie. Ever made when that boy came out that out that airplane and he flew through the air, he was shooting them guns. Man, I forgot what we're doing. Oh, 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 we going to another broken yeah, yeah. That was that was the last. And when he went to jail and he, Nicholas Cage told him, I want to take your face off. That, come on, man, you can't do me. That was no this dude was the general under the emperor. Was next in line to be emperor. So he went from the top to the bottom, to the bottom, back to the top, again. back to the top again, with no help, no armies, no nothing, straight gladiator, fought his way yeah. from the bottom back to the top. But I like killing, oh, fighting man. scenes and guns and stuff. Like Taken, I could watch Taken. Yeah, he, yeah, that's that's like 
Uh, the other one too. Jason Bourne. No, Bourne, but the other shooter. Two, not shooter. Uh, uh John Wick. I watch. I love me some John Wick. The driver. Wick. Drove the car, man. They he picked the people up. Don't look in the trunk. Just drive the car. What was the I'm name of that think. dude, man? He had a couple of them movies. It wasn't taken. Gone. Nah, it's like driver or something. He was a driver. And then I like stuff like Equalizer. He was he was driving, man. man. Wow. He can do scary movies. I'm not watching no scary movie. Period. Oh. I'm not doing scary movies. Man, scary. The movie is not scary. I it's have like, nightmares. All right, in scary movies, it's really a mental thing. Sometimes I still jump in and, and stuff like that, but really, movies, scary movies, everything is based off of music. The intensity of the music. You know something is gonna happen because they give you a, a certain line of music, and then they draw you in with that music, and then they uh, and you jump. But he know my thing is I can only watch scary movies in the daytime. I will not watch a scary movie at night. Period. I just cannot. I have nightmares. I, I still sleep with teddy bears and night lights. So therefore, we not we not we not sleeping. I can't sleep in the pitch dark. I'm gonna go crazy. Cause I'm gonna think something messing with me or something getting me. And I might see a shadow. I'm not with it. Give me a night light or leave the TV on. Period. And for the long, I just stopped sleeping with my teddy bears because it used to be a problem. I'm sleeping with the teddy bear every night. I'm sorry. Now it's the dog. I, I seen you push my dog over this morning too. Stop pushing my dog. Stop pushing my dog. But the moral of this story is we just want y'all to spend time with us and do stuff with us. And that's the main main reason I have stopped asking him to do stuff with me and go places with me. Because I don't want to feel like I'm forcing somebody to spend time with me. I don't want to feel like I'm pulling teeth. I just want you to be happy or excited about hanging with me. Like I'm excited about you hanging with me. Like that's all. That's it. You know? Cause he got his days where he chill with his boys, and I got my days where I chill with my girls. Like every other Friday, that's me and one of my best friends. Um, day like that's our time to decompress, vent, talk, get stuff out, just really like catch up and all that. Like motivate each other. Uh, you know, just like just be chill. It just be us girls, and then, then I have cousins day. Who don't want? Who want? Who don't want a cousin like mine? Cousin. I mean, it's his cousin, but it's my cousin. Because you know, he have to say it's his cousin, but it's my cousin too. Because I'm married in this game, which by his cousin happened to be my best friend and cousin. So I got a two for one. Now, but I have to have my cousin time because like that's my best friend too. But other than that, I don't. To do nothing to go nowhere no more. Now I used to, I, at first I wasn't running these streets, then I started hitting these streets real hard. Then I done backed up off these streets because I ain't for the streets no more. Okay? I like to be on the sidewalk. You know, some of y'all still for the street. I'm not for the streets no more. Put me on the sidewalk. I like the sidewalk. It's safe. I got a bunch of masks in there. I got a Jordan mask too. The red mask. But yeah. So today, it smell like, um, do it smell like goldfish? No, but he got two. Yeah, I'm talking about the big. Now I don't know which one smell like goldfish, but I know <laughs> he got two in there. The big something. Like it, man. I don't know. But we finna get out of here because we finna go into another broken egg and eat. But this is my day, so we spend the time together. Oh, and we gotta go get some steaks. So I'm trying to decide where I'm gonna get my steaks from because I'm doing steaks, a sausage alfredo pasta, and I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do some steaming broccoli or try my hand at some roasted potatoes. You wanna get out there? No, I'm gonna walk with you. You wanna park right now? Yeah, we can. Both these down, it don't matter. Down, it don't have no sign. They say we can't park there because it's, it's their business parking. 
What's a steel pig? Wait, we oh no, nah, we don't eat pig like we don't eat pig like that. It's a Korean barbecue place. You know, Korea's got the best barbecue. No Man, Korea's got the best barbecue, though, baby. I want to try Nam, but I'm gonna take Audrey though first, cause she can uh did it let me know if it's worth going to. So we are gonna try Nam with Audrey. Okay, y'all, we finna out of here. We've already been talking to y'all for 15 minutes, so. This we're gonna close this video and I might vlog the rest of the day. I might when we get home of me cooking and stuff, so we'll see.